El Salvador has become the first country in the world to adopt Bitcoin as a legal tender. The country's uh, Congress embraced the cryptocurrency in an effort to promote financial inclusion, investment, and economic development. The law that would go into effect in 90 days will make Bitcoin legal tender alongside the U.S. dollars. Salvadorians will be able to pay their taxes in their cryptocurrency, and merchants will be required to accept it as payment unless they lack access to the necessary technology. About 70% of people in El Salvador lack access to traditional financial services. The adoption of Bitcoin is seen as a way to increase a financial inclusion. Indonesian electric bikes could soon be on the streets of Dakar. The country is set to export 200 electric bikes to Senegal. The electric bikes called Gasits are manufactured by Wika Industry Manufacture. Indonesian ambassador to Senegal, Dindin Wahyudin, says the Gasits bike was born from a vision to introduce a green technology into people's everyday lives. The Indonesian embassy in Dakar is now facilitating a sister city cooperation between Bogor and Senegal cities, where a Gusit's factory is planned to be built. The Indonesian government is unrolling a program that would that will see the country's use of regular gasoline reduced. The government hopes the move will help set the ground for Indonesia's target to become carbon neutral by 2060. Starting in Java, Madura and Bali, the three most impacted islands from pollution from gasoline, Indonesia's state-owned oil and natural gas corporation Pertamina will subsidize regular gasoline, shifting consumers to mid-grade fuel. Pertamina also plans to reduce the use of diesel, all this while carefully making sure fuel prices remain stable. The House of Representatives Commission 7 believes these moves are key to Indonesia achieving carbon neutrality by 2060.